Hello everyone and welcome to Heidi's Home. I hope you all are doing fantastic. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of cleaning to start out this video or should I say a lot of cleaning to start out this video. So I am preparing for company and so early as I possibly could I decided I'm going to deep clean the main area of the house which is the living room and so you're going to see me move furniture and clean in behind everything so right now I am just giving my entryway a really good wipe down I'm going to vacuum out the door tracks wipe all of that out with a mop um, sometimes we always forget that area but actually it gets pretty dirty so you're going to see me vacuum out the track and you're going to see me mop it um, I I try to keep the entryway of my home as clean as possible because it is the first thing that people see when they walk up to the house is a nice clean entryway. And I will tell you, having a lot of glass and a glass door, there are a lot of fingerprints that do come up. But uh, usually if I know somebody is coming, I will always wipe that door down because I know that there's fingerprints on it from where we go out and get the mail or whatever we do. So you're going to see me move a lot of furniture, vacuum underneath things, move the couch, clean the window. I'm just going to give my living room a really, really good uh, clean today. So I hope you guys enjoyed and you will find that this is motivating.
So I have a lot of decorative throw pillows and we don't actually use these pillows for anything. They are just there for merely decor. And in case you didn't know this, you can actually run those through the dryer and it'll freshen them up. It'll get any dust that might be built up in the pillows. So all of my throw pillows that are in my living room, I do run those through the dryer just for a few minutes, just to give them a good, you know, bounce around inside the dryer and it removes any dust or debris that might be on them and just freshens things up. So now I am actually tackling the last place in my living room and this is where my husband actually records his live broadcast. He's a southern gospel singer and this area gets very, very dusty. In fact, you can really see it because it is right at the front door, right across from it and if we go in and out a lot it just seems like dust really builds up and if you have any kind of dark furniture especially a piano that's dark in color like this like around the feet or underneath or the bench you definitely can see a buildup of dust so i am just giving this area a huge wipe down also too after i moved the piano i was still finding glitter from christmas so you never know what you're going to find when you start moving the things around in your living room to give it a good deep clean. Hello everybody and good morning. It is, what is today? Today, <laughs> today is Tuesday, 
Today is Tuesday. Ronnie and I are up. We are headed to Walmart this morning. Um, I did get my overall cleaning in here that I wanted to get done yesterday, um, which you have seen at the beginning of this video. Um, you know, we have had the struggles this week. Ron and I got sick. We both had horrendous head colds, not to mention that I didn't have a voice. Now, last Tuesday, I had my peer support group meeting, and I barely had a voice for that meeting, and it's getting better. Everything's better. If you see these, these are my new outdoor pillows I just bought. Um, it's just not been warm enough here to do any work outside, and we've had horrendous rain, and... Yes, my grass needs cut, and I don't even know if um, I hired somebody. Well, I acquired somebody to come uh, this week and cut my grass, but we're supposed to have so much rain. I just don't think that he's even going to get to it or be able to do it till probably a few days after the rain subsides because we are supposed to get a horrendous amount of rain. We are due for some really bad weather this evening. I'm not looking forward to that. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'm praying that we don't get it too bad, as bad as they're saying that we are. Um, <clears throat> they're saying pretty windy and hail, possible tornadoes, etc. Nobody likes to hear that in the forecast. Nobody. So I've been up a little while. I've had coffee. And I am currently drinking, uh, was drinking coffee, but I put some orange juice in that cup because I need some orange juice this morning uh, before I head out. And what else am I going to tell you? Oh, yes. I am loving my Alexa. I'm not supposed to say her name or she'll go off over there, but I love my Alexa device because I've been able to create a grocery list on there. And it actually sorts it in categories on my phone. So when I get to the store, all my meats are together, all my vegetables are together, all my dairies together. It's amazing. And it has made shopping so much better. And I just say Alexa and I say, uh, read my grocery list. And it reads my grocery list to me here at the house. And if I am cleaning and I realize, oh my goodness, I'm out of dryer sheets, I can say, Alexa, add dryer sheets to the grocery list. And she will. And it is fantabulous. And then when I do go out to the store, my list is on my phone. So I am getting ready for company. My mom and dad are supposed to be here at the end of the week. However, I have to travel with a friend of mine tomorrow. Um... That is assuming we don't blow away in the middle of the night. Um, but I'm supposed to travel with a friend of mine tomorrow. And I have got to get up at like 4 a.m. To catch an Uber. To go to Charleston in the morning. And <laughs> so I, um, I'm, take, I'm going with her. And we're going to get some lunch. And I may get some snippet pieces for this video. So you guys can see us in the Uber and going or whatever, if it's okay with her, which I don't think she'll mind. But anyways, we're going to stop and eat lunch at Bob Evans. That is if everything works out okay. I quit making plans because I bought a new dress, new purse, new everything, had it laid out for Easter and I got sick and I couldn't even go to church Easter. And, um, my eyes, I don't know if you can tell by my nose, but my nose is so sore and my eyes are horrendously itchy. I have these amazing eye drops and if it was not for those eye drops, I don't know what I would have done the last couple of days. I probably would have had to go to urgent care because when your eyes itch to death, and I don't know if I'm forming allergies now because I don't have allergies. I've never had allergies. But my mom keeps reminding me when you get older, your body changes. And what you don't have before doesn't mean you won't have when you get older. So, yeah. 
Anyways, the trees are blooming. We have a beautiful tree in the backyard that is blooming. And if I can get that in video for you, like I said, it's gloomy. It's dark out. The sun's not shining at all. It's just dreadful. Um, but the trees are blooming and they are pretty. We have this beautiful sort of pinkish colored tree that blooms in our backyard. And um, we have an upper deck. And so we go out on the upper deck. You sit. It kind of surrounds one side of our deck. And it is so, so pretty. And it's so lovely to sit out there. Did get out there yesterday just for a few minutes with Ronnie to enjoy. It was so nice. Um, it was a little bit breezy yesterday. It was not raining. Um, the sun was it was kind of peeking in and out, but it was it was so heavenly. It was so heavenly. But anyways, I'm gonna quit yammering. Um, I'm not sure what this video is gonna contain. I am gonna share with you my grocery haul in this video. Um, I find that since everything has been so chaotic to try to get you all at least one video out, um, it might contain everything, but you guys will see a video nevertheless. So Ron and I are going to get going and go to Wally World. And yes, we are going to, Cabo Wayne Association for the Blind is coming to pick us up. And we are going to get all that we need. And I think I have like 38 items on my grocery list. So apparently, this girl's going to be doing some cooking for her parents when they come to town. Southern Kentucky. That is the kind of stuff that's headed our way. And with this boundary that's setting up, I want you to take a very close look at this. There's a thin line of clouds right here over Southern Kentucky. Along that boundary is where we need to be watching for the potential redevelopment. In fact, uh, we'll have Hannah zoom. We are back from Walmart. I had the news on a little while ago. It has gotten really bad outside. Um, the roof supposedly blew off the mall. And there was a tractor trailer that was tipped over on the Ohio Bridge. Um, so there was a lot of stuff. I've got some limbs down, leaves everywhere outside. But nothing, you know, that screams damage here. So... I'm very grateful for that, but did a very fast food shop. I got everything on my list in 40 minutes and I was home. So um, we are supposed to have another round of bad weather hit. So that's coming. So I'm going to get all of these groceries put away and get my day kind of gone. Um, so Easter stuff is 50% off. So... Um, I got me some cream eggs. These are my favorite. Some Reese's eggs for Ronnie. He doesn't even know he's got them yet. <laughs> some mozzarella cheese, as well as some Fiesta blend. Um, I'm trying not to drop my eggs here. Some Blue Bonnet butter, a thing of ground chuck, peanut butter, bananas, two bell peppers, a couple packages of bacon, two hot sausages, dish soap. This is breaded fish fillets. Love those. We love to make a quick fish sandwich, and it just makes for a very easy, quick um, eat. So that's nice to have on hand. Several of the brown gravies and some cottage cheese. And we also got some ketchup as well as my favorite lasagna noodles. Also got a uh, roll of ground turkey meat, two things of, um, what do I want to call this? Um, <laughs> uh, cube steak, yes, cube steak. I will get it here in a minute. We're going to call this cube steak. Then we also got some Italian sausage, Two things of biscuits. We've already been into this, but these are my favorite pepperoni rolls in this area. And you get them at Walmart. They're like $7 and something, but they are ginormous and they are stuffed. But I love it with the hot cheese. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Anyways, quick lunch. We're I'm full, so we'll be eating dinner later on tonight. Got some hot dogs. Some cream cheese, 
some flour, which I wasn't even sure if I needed, but I went ahead and got it anyways. Two onions, a head of lettuce, some celery, some uh, whipped topping, some milk, two pie crust, some tater tots, green beans, some tapioca pudding for myself because I love it. And I got, um, it's not here, but I got two loaves of white bread and two packages of hot dog buns. So that is what I bought for groceries. Got home, got everything brought in. Um, I'm going to flip this around. Got home, got in, hair got blown to smithereens. Um, had to pull it up in a brat because it was everywhere, but we made it. <laughs> um, it got really, really bad and very, very hairy. They've even shut down. Um, if you're not familiar with the area that I live in, basically in two seconds, you could be in Kentucky. Two seconds, you could be in Ohio. I live in West Virginia. Proctorville is probably the nearest town when you get into Ohio from here. It's completely shut down because of all the damage. There is like 30,000 people right now without power. So that's not good. So I'm going to get all of my groceries put away. We're supposed to have round two of storms that's supposed to come through later on today. And I'm praying everything stays okay and that, um, you know, everybody stays safe. As far as I know, nobody has been hurt or anything in any of this damage. Um, but goodness, just just awful. Um, and it's really weird for us to get that kind of weather here. That's usually like a Southern thing, like a Memphis thing. And I left Memphis and I come here and we're having Memphis weather. It's crazy. Um, so I'm going to get all of this put away and I will be checking in in a little bit. I realized a couple of things on my table I didn't share. Um, got the, well, just throw it across the room. Got some gain, um, uh, laundry crystals and also pick this up for upstairs in the bathroom. I'm going to try this. Everybody's been raving about it. I went ahead and bought it today because I am getting company and I thought, well, that's excuse enough to buy a new product to try. So I'll let you know about the pink stuff and how it does in the bathroom. There's my little friend right there. Oh my gosh. Hi, Mr. Squirrel. If I had nuts, I'd feed this thing today. <laughs> I would. everybody so today is what is today today is thursday right today thursday yes yesterday i was in charleston with kim and uh we had a very very inventive uh in day day yesterday first of all we took uber to charleston hospital um so we had to take four rides and it was not with Uber, but it's with a company that her insurance company uses. And so, <laughs> we had the same driver every single trip, except they would drop us off, then we would call them, then they would turn around and pick us back up, and then take us to the next place, and then call them, same person, turn around, pick us back up. Oh my gosh, it was crazy day. But... And it was an inventive day yesterday because we had made arrangements to stop off at the at a police department. I don't want to give the name on here, but anyway, <laughs> we had to stop off. Well, we had some really bad storms, and they did not have any power, and the doors were locked, and it was pouring down the rain, and it was cold, and I didn't even wear a jacket because I didn't know that it was going to be that cold. I'm drinking some orange juice this morning. Um, so anyways, um, the, <laughs> this very nice officer came out and asked us if we needed help. We explained to him that we did call ahead to their office to see if we could just wait inside for our next ride, that we, um, were both visually impaired and we were trying to get to the hospital and they said, oh yes. He said, oh, come on in. So we were the only people in the police department yesterday. <laughs> And I want, we wanted so badly to take a selfie in front of the station with the sign, but, um, 
there was this officer and it just felt weird. And so we didn't do it, but we laughed about it all day yesterday. Um, and because we had, I think a total of four or five officers ask us if we need help. And just for the note, they were all really good looking. <laughs> And we just thought it was funny. But anyways, we had a good time. Uh, we ended up eating lunch at a Cracker Barrel yesterday. The original plan was Bob Evans, but that didn't pan out. We ended up going to Cracker Barrel. And um, Cracker Barrel was delicious. I had a chicken BLT with steak fries. And my friend had the same thing um, with broccoli. And I said, oh, you're going the healthy way, are you? And I'm the one with the french fries. I have no guilt. That was delicious and I was starving. So, um, yes, had a very big day yesterday. Did not get home till I think it was a quarter after five. So, Ronnie hadn't eaten, so I grilled him a burger. And he ate a burger um, yesterday after I got home. And then I have been having allergies like crazy. I took a bath, I washed my hair, and I popped a Benadryl, and that's all I remember. <laughs> that's all I remember yesterday. Um, today, Ron and I are going on a date, and we are going to uh, Gabe's because I want to have a little look-see around. Um, it's my mom's birthday coming up this month. And I haven't found her anything. However, I did see something the last time I was up at Gabe's. And they may or may not have it anymore. And if they do have it, I'm going to buy it. But if they don't have it, it's okay. Because I still have time. Her birthday is not really until the 20th of this month. But whenever they come in from Florida, I we kind of celebrate her birthday while she's with me. And I probably won't see her again till probably... Mother's Day. So that's why the gift giving is early so that we can all be together and I can see her open her gift and enjoy blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, we're going to go out today to Gabe's and then we're going to and pray, pray, pray that the wind don't blow us away because it's up on this hill and we're going to walk over to Texas Roadhouse and just have um, a lunch and then I don't have to cook today and I can come home and I've got some bedding to wash and just a few things that I want to accomplish today to get ready for my parents. And so I'll have the remaining part of today and then I'll have all day tomorrow. But tomorrow being Friday, I'm trying to think what I'm doing. Friday, um, you know, I always cook. So I want to cook that day and have the food ready. And I'm going to make a couple peanut butter pies and um, my seven layer salad. I need to make a thing of iced Mom and tea. Dad are easy to please. Don't drink iced tea. I'm just gonna make it with regular sugar this time because Dad does not like the um, Splenda. He can tell the difference. I can't, but he can tell the difference. So I'm wearing this lacy little top that um, my really dear friend Emma Lou gave me. I love it. I have not colored my hair since I've had it cut. I, I feel like I'm daring myself to venture out with my gray hair and be in acceptance of it. Um, we'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> we'll see how long it lasts. But hey, it curled really good. And I'm also planning to do a favorites video um, here really, really soon because there are some things that I do want to share with you guys that are new in my life that I'm using I will say, I think most of them are beauty related. So if you like that kind of thing, stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be sharing that. And I'm going to be quiet because this video is going to be really long. But that's okay. I want you guys to have a big video. I hope you all are doing fantastic. Ron and I are finally, I think, the, today, this morning is actually the best day I've had. Um, as far as my, oh my gosh, the allergies. And I... I think it has to do with how windy it's been and everything is trying to bloom, but it got down in the 40s last night. So we had like two or three days where it was like in the upper 70s. One day was like 80 degrees. And then last night it was in the 40s and I had turned my heat back on because it was so cold. 
Um, but yeah, this crazy weather, crazy, crazy. I am looking forward to spring and cleaning my porches and planting flowers and all those things, but the weather is not cooperating yet. So I'm hoping that it's sooner than later. <laughs>